Okay, let's have a recap from what happened last week. So last week, uh, people, okay, you guys after the previous session, you you appointed to find that troublemaker Joffrey, and taking a different way through River Road. You were searching, and by chance, you encountered into an argument that resulted into a trap. Actually, the the trap was uh, was for the guards, but you managed to walk yourself into the the ambush itself, and at the same time, you managed to. Encounter several of the ambushes, and with interesting results, there was lots of jumping and parkouring. That some works, some doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> lots of spell being slung by both sides, and you encountered a new entity uh, that seems to be very fast, but. With uh, lots of interesting tactics uh, and traps, <coughs> you managed to subdue him before he managed to really put a dent in your armor, so to speak. And you also encountered Joffrey, uh, that seems to observe what his uh, teammates have been doing from afar. Even then, at the same time, you notice. A thick fog, a mist, some some sorts, the similar one that have uh, you have encountered before. Move on to the battlefield, on through the the alleys, the back alleys, uh, approaching and encroaching, and as the battle progresses, some of the mist uh, seep into the bodies, the of the carnage that. Uh, was lying on the ground and reanimated them to become zombies that, that attack you back. So, this is something new. And so far, in that confusion with lots of friendly fires, uh, pulled muscle, uh, and uh, reanimated zombies, and the guards trying to, based on your instruction, pull away their. Fallen comrades from the mist, Joffrey managed to escape before dropping one of his item. And based on that, you managed to search uh, the bodies that has not risen. And you found some of interesting items before you went back to the dorms for recuperation. And recovery from the put muscles, the the face plant onto the ground, and it is believed until now there is a uh, a feature on the ground that that resembles one of you from the face plant. <laughs> mm, right. So, uh, you all of you right now is in the dorm. All right. Okay. It is night time. It is very late. Uh, now it's about two or three a.m. in the morning. The battle took some time. Uh, it was dark, and at the same time, it was still uh, two or three days after the full moon. And this is where we begin today's session. All of you are at dorms. All right. <coughs> uh... That was a whole lot of pain. Is everyone okay? Yep, <coughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Just disappointed that we don't get to kill the one who's behind this. <laughs> I, I I think you uh, I I think you're meant to say captured. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, yeah, captured. captured. I no, mean, captured. if accidents happen, it happens, but. <laughs> Yes, indeed. But yeah, oh man, Let, let's recap for a bit. Like, what did we notice that was very 
confusing, very bad, very strange. Hmm. I would say that I uh, I would say that the echo lights are a bit weird. That's one thing, yeah. I'm, but also at the same time, I'm guessing it's the reanimated bodies. Th those are those are not normal. Hmm. Uh, how 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 did that happen? Anything you you notice Chen Chen deep in thought, like as if trying to recall. Um, maybe his past studies of, around this matter. So, Chechen, what were you ruling for? Chechen? Chen? He's deep in thought. Mm, okay. All right. As he's trying to recall that. Yeah, I think you you are leaving him to his uh, his being. All right. Either now. that or or he's muted. <laughs> <laughs> On the other end. <laughs> can, can, can you guys hear me now? Yes, we can. <laughs> yeah. Hey, my, I don't know what's wrong with my mic. Shit. Uh, <laughs> see, ah, see, he told you. <laughs> see, he told you. I knew it. He was deep in thought. <laughs> Either that or he's muted on his side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Ch Ch Chen Chen suddenly, okay. Uh, he, he regained his voice as he rolled for history. What were you rolling for, Chen? I know, like what can cause this, like how can like any that? Uh, you were saying uh, what about the mist? Is it this phenomenon? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. All right. Um. In clear, in cleric one o one. Cleric one o one. Yeah, the first semester of your course. <laughs> Yeah, it's a study of the unnatural. Uh, it it is an abomination about the some of this uh, raising of the dead, reanimating corpses, are uh, usually in the realms of necromancy, and there are incidences about the this kind of um, <coughs> arc or the dark arts. Have been in practice, but you do not seem to recall any instances of the mist seeping into dead bodies and causing them to re reanimate. Usually, it is uh, caused by a divine spell or wizardries. You trying to reanimate dead, but this is something new and seems quite powerful. And that's what Chen Chen relayed to us, or? I know, to relay uh, to you guys? Do I want to relay to you guys? Yeah, up to you. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I relay to this to the guys that, that whatever happens within the mist is quite unnatural and it's something that is, we should be more careful about it. Okay, Ken, let's see, Chen. And hmm. call. Roll. Okay. Sorry. Perception. Okay. No, no, it's okay. Uh, Chen and Carl roll perception. I will roll a d20. Yeah, 16. Add right. your modifier? No, no modifier. Oh, so. <laughs> I have to find a fumble table for abilities. <laughs> <laughs> also. No, man. Come on. No, like, just kidding. Okay. Anyway, uh, Carl, you, you, you notice uh, as if when uh, hearing this, you notice Leona seems to, to bear her brows uh, are thinking as if there is a slight twitch in her feature as if she recognized something along what Chan has mentioned. And Leona, hmm. uh, I think last time uh, I have, you have uh, made a history check also. Mm-hmm. So it's up to you to whether you want to share that information or not. I can't remember much about this, but it's 
things think things are a bit hazy. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Miss and haze. <laughs> um, no, but in all seriousness, um, things right now for me it's, it's a bit hazy because I've traveled a lot and I've seen a lot of shit happen. So I might be confusing or by, I might be mixing up the two things together. So I, I got nothing concrete right now. You can't share it. That's your story. Was it? No, you can't share it as your theory at the moment because we are clueless. The moment what uh, we are against. Mm, that's, mm, true. that's true. Okay. Um. Let's see. W one of the few things that I. W one of the few things that I think might be the cause is could be. You 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 say it's magical, right? But what is magic but science does not understand? So my theory is that instead of magic, this could be science. But I'm not 100% sure where I've seen this before, so everything's a bit blurry for me. Hmm. <clears throat> and even as you you glance a bit out of the window, you notice the mists have engulfed almost more than half of the the city. About that, you well for sure your dorm is within the range of the the mist. Oh wait, I, I thought we were, we were staying in the inn, right? Right now? No, we headed to the dorm to rest. We headed to the dorm here. Shall we? Shall we go back to the inn instead? <laughs> We are already in here. Yeah. And then we take a rest and we recuperate and we charge our spell slot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, that is true. Okay. <clears throat> okay. But on top of that, like, um, I I think me and um, Carl here managed to get a glance at this Joffrey person. No, uh, I, I didn't. I didn't get a glance at this Joffrey person. Really? Huh. Yeah. Oh, unfortunate. Yeah. Right. And Carl is trying to summon his pixie again. It's you, summer. It's you, summer. No, like you. <laughs> but <laughs> all I could say about this Joffrey that Shadow's been uh, saying that. He is one ugly motherfucker. Hmm. How 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 does it look like? Can you can you use minor illusion to show us? Do I have minor illusion? <laughs> minor illusion or any illusion? You don't have any? Uh, give a second. I have silent image, but that image works as well, right? So, GM, does it work? Um, you have <laughs> what silent image? Yeah. Let's see, mm, I have to read that. Mm. Yeah, I guess it will work. Alright, so using my last spell slot, I'll try and conjure up how uh, this Joffrey looks like under um, be underneath the mask. So, okay. hand right. magic here, there, and then boop, a holograph of Joffrey without the mask. Oh, okay. What you can <gasps> see is uh, a disfigured face. Ooh. Uh, almost like half of his face is seems melted. Or still face. Rotting. And let's see. Oh no, it's two face from Batman. <laughs> 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 He's rolling a coin? <laughs> oh my god, it was so cool. Holy <laughs> shit. He looks like a... Two-Face or Deadpool. <laughs> he looks undead. Yeah, it's like that. <laughs> Deadpool. Yeah. yeah. Deadpool. He looks undead, man. He looks like an undead creature. But... Chen Chen, Chen, Chen did you feel anything? Some... 
Rachel, do you do anything about this thing? No, at the moment that he can hold a special weapon, doesn't that does mean that he is not in the undead, is it? But if you're a cleric, doesn't that mean you can use all those stuff? Like those are essential, essential, right? Yep, that is true. I mean, is the spiritual uh, is the spiritual weapon divine? It's not really. Hmm. Well, this is how he looks. Ugly, not not great. Fugly, one would say. Wait, he's a long hair. Is it a she or is it a he? I d no, it's a he. Joffrey, remember? Hmm. Yeah, but says the name, but you don't know if he has boots under that plate. We'll, we'll to say the, the next time when we meet him, we'll ask. <laughs> <sighs> but for now, let's get some rest. Like, ah, uh, just use up my last spell slot, and I could use some sleep. Okay, just go ahead. I need to summon my pixie. All right. So you take first watch, then, right? Russia. Okay. Okay. Who's taking first watch and who's taking all this? Um, anyone? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm taking first watch, <laughs> and I will bar bar the doors. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, where is Shadow? He had a toilet toilet problem. <laughs> Aim before it comes true. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the last you checked, uh, he was nursing a bit of his face of caused by bruising. <laughs> <coughs> okay, uh, Kenneth, are you there? Yes, checking. If you can speak, type it in the chat in the roll twenty. And I guess one of us will read it. Yeah, it is. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Kenneth. Okay, Kenneth, do you do you uh? Wait, are you in our Discord right now? Yes, he is. That's how he's hearing us talk. Oh, okay. Right. <coughs> is it is there an internet problem? Is it? Mm -hmm. Ask him. Oh, there's no internet oh. problems. Okay. <sighs> okay. Oh, <you're shy. laughs> <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe he, I think maybe he's in a public area so that mm. uh, if he opens and then I think everybody was, will be laughing right now yeah. <laughs> you can hear people laughing uh, I'm at, all right, oh cool. okay so, so uh, right. like, like if you want to say anything just type it in and then one of us will read it and uh, if you're scared that you may um, over talk over us doesn't matter because uh, well you, you don't have a voice here right now so typing it in will kind of help and then we can just read it out yeah, yeah. and if the dm will read your your text or your your conversations there is no guarantee that the, the dm will use the right voice <laughs> maybe, so he'll be, maybe he'll be speaking like this oh okay <laughs> oh god no uh, are I'm, you trying no, now no, all right all right, all all right. right. <laughs> oh god, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, uh, first watch goes I'm, to. Uh, oh, he said, I'm Batman. <laughs> okay, first watch goes to Carl. I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm gonna go to bread. Okay, you want to go to bread or you want to go to bed? Bed. <laughs> okay, bed. That's catching you. <laughs> Alright, so the first watch goes to Carl. The rest are tired and trying to replenish their. <laughs> their health back, their spell slots. Alright. So, Carl, uh, the rest are having a nap or <coughs> resting. You are there. Are you trying to summon your PC? Yes, I will start the ritual. Mizu sama, give you right. power, protect Can... sama. Can you click on that to show what it says? <laughs> The number you have dialed is not in service. <laughs> Please try later. <coughs> oh my god. This one's it? Like the chain. Ah, 
you need to find familiar spells. So against the number of spells known. Oh, this is something else. All right. So let me do something. Yeah. But we, we, but we get special special mounts. Huh? Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. What happens? Um, You cast that. I expect. Okay. You you were trying to replicate the, the pet that you have... Um, summon used to summon the the pixie before okay and it usually opens a portal in order to summon it and in which before that into from the fey while the pixie ap- appears but this time around you alone in the in in this while the rest are snoring a bit uh, one of them are really <laughs> doing like that um, it's a bit off. It's a bit strange because the the portal seems to be like sputtering. It's trying to 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 open, and then it, something seems to be closing it a bit. And it's as if something is fighting or the the portal from opening. So, can you roll? Do you have a let's see? Concentration check. You want to? Do you want? Do you really want to summon this pixie, right? Yeah, let's try. Need, uh, okay. Yeah. So I do concentration check. Is it? Yes. You're trying to <coughs> fight it. <coughs> oh! Oh! oh, oh. Right. And yeah, it, it, it managed to open a bit, and then it, it something is trying to to close it up. And you know, okay. Can you roll a perception also, Carl? Okay, roll a perception. Eleven. <laughs> right. Um, you 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 cannot not notice the the air uh, in the room in the dorm is getting colder, <laughs> and it gets more silent as you have that. Ah. Oh. Rick. Why did he summon true? <laughs> and something something did appear from that portal. Oh that okay. you fought hard to You fought hard really hard to <coughs> to clear up. Oh god. Oh, oh mom boss. <laughs> <laughs> And then something small but funny looking came up. Oh, it's like hi. It is. It, it looks like a pixie in a way, but it it looks a bit weird. It's not like previ- your previous pixie. Uh, oh, no, no. Chen, can you roll a perception check? Oh God damn it! I think I know what it is. It appears in a corner. Ooh, okay. Chen, you as you are meditating, you notice well for sure it 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 is something foul that seems to it, it, as your as you perceive something foul entered the room all of a sudden. And you and Carl both notice this um <coughs> pixie looking thing. But it seems to be Holding something, a tool, a plier, with a tooth there. A plier and with a it, tooth? Yeah. A tooth fairy? And, and, and uh, as, as the thing tried to uh, wiggle its wing, it's flying. Okay. Uh, and you notice it to be really weird looking it looks like an imp <laughs> and can <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh can you roll initiative then oh no it's hostile god damn it you have to be- you have to bend it to your will to tame it like a pokemon trainer <laughs> Uh, nine, nine. <laughs> who has? Who has a? Who is faster? 
Şey çevirdim. Çok fevri olsun. Çok fevri. Oh god. Ah, Jim, do 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 I feel a link between me me and the and the two fairy? Um, it's hard because you were using your your full concentration to open the portal, and something did came out of from the portal. Can I can I attempt to control it? Well, okay. Let's see. Uh, initiative has been rolled. Okay. Let's no, the thing is, where is your? Where are you guys inside the <coughs> the initiative table? There we go. Oh shoot! I forgot. I, I forgot to click on the character. Yeah. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Pixie is twenty. The pixie is. No. 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 Uh... It's not... Pixie, that, that, that was else. that was the old pixie. <laughs> yeah, this fairy is nine. Chen Chen is twenty. Now I'm, I'm trying to redo it. And okay, Carl and should then be nine. I'll reroll for yeah. Fourteen. Carl will be uh, nine. No, okay. no, no. Uh, because he did not click. Ah yes. Like I mentioned before, so, try using edge. <laughs> <laughs> la 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 la. Can't hear you. Alright. Uh, Chen should be twenty, right? Mhm. Okay. There. <coughs> Chen. This is something that that uh, as you were meditating, right? You just got into your deep meditative state, and this um thing that you senses uh, appears. And being not concentrating on trying to open the portal, you are quicker to react than Carl. And you notice it. And this thing seems to be moving and poised to attack. Okay, Chen, what do you do? Carl, I say, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> I was like, fucking <laughs> <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm like some, some something hijacked the portal. I can't feel a link to it. Yeah, right. <laughs> something hijacked hijacked the portal. This is not so. Is it, you, is it is it yours or something? What the fuck is that? I I don't know. Let me try and take control of it. I I I have no idea. Does it? It doesn't look like what Mizu Samal said. <laughs> you sure? Are you sure? Mizu Sama dislikes uh. Uh, ugly things, and also panties. <laughs> uh, she she might like it, <laughs> <laughs> but she doesn't. Do that. <laughs> you uh, never know, to, right? Try to weasel your way out of that one of the what you showed me. <laughs> Schrodinger panties. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can never see the skirt. Sorry, <clears throat> you're recording, so we can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so, so so basically, I feel like something might have hijacked the link when trying to summon the pixie. Might it might be the what kind of the mist that we that we are, we are seeing right now. It might be something bad in the mist. Uh. It's powerful enough to hijack my link to Mizu Summer. Sounds something like somebody is hijacking your internet, <laughs> trying to do to mine Bitcoin. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, so Chen, uh, other than than shouting at at Carl, <laughs> what else are you doing? Is that your action? Shouting? Oh, I'm bad. Is it shouting my action? No, <laughs> ready action. Is it shouting? Attack. No. <laughs> no. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare. Uh, I'm gonna pull the Aglaron sword to my hand. Ooh. Okay. Let's <laughs> use. <laughs> <laughs> I think that will be my action, lah. Just prepare. Okay. All right. Yes, it. Oh God. Right. Oh God. Carl. Yes, Carl's here. Yep. What oh, are you going to do? Uh, since I can't find, I can't feel anything from it. I will have to destroy it, lah. Since it's obviously hostile. <laughs> so I will Just... use. I'll use this. On on the mine spike, sixty hmm. feet. All right. 
point target to wisdom achieve. saving throw okay okay it will be do a wisdom saving throw okay so i do a 3d8 okay let let me let me do the okay 16 <coughs> see wisdom saving throw Sixteen. Oh. Sixteen. This yeah. is fifteen. Huh? Yep. <clears throat> eight. Uh. So yes. Eight only. It manages to it, it senses uh a psychic attack coming. And at the same time it raises a certain um barrier towards itself or it flinches. So it's take eight damage, right? Yeah. Okay. It screams in pain, and as you you it, you see it scream, you see jagged teeth. Yep, definitely not this mouth. summer. As it screams. Okay, it's there. It's uh, it's flying. It's hovering, and it is weakened. So, anything else other than this? Oh, that's it. Okay, that's it. So. Okay. It sees the creature attacking it. And it flies. It was very fast. <laughs> and it's, as it approaches there. It oh god! Okay. On and let's see. Yeah. Good this. luck. No. Perception. Skill check perception. It notices. Chan seems to be hurt as opposed to Carl that hurts it <laughs> and it targets but Chan Chan can't, can't sleep right he's an elf yeah like uh, he's immune to sleep spells <laughs> well, it's okay the thing doesn't know that <laughs> okay yeah I guess it's true yeah. <laughs> okay it rolls 2d6 <gasps> oh, ha, it <not> failed. <laughs> well, Chen Chen's HP is higher than nine. <laughs> yeah, it seems to, <sighs> to try to attack anything that it perceives to be susceptible to its spell. Okay. And that will be his action. And <laughs> your turn. Ooh, we'll move that. Yep. Okay. As it moves, do you want to do a, a attack of opportunity? Hmm? Moving yes, to does course. count. But it, I, I, you so yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. I want to swing. Is that okay. it's head off? Okay. Um. I don't know one. Okay. Are you proficient with a sword? A sword, yes. <clears throat> okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Like, should I fire up the fumble table? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't roll one, huh? Don't roll one, huh? <laughs> Okay, oh, the, the sword doesn't have like anything at it. It's, I, I guess you put it under normal sword, like uh, drag in a normal long sword, short sword. What, what kind of sword is that? Uh, it's a uh, long sword. I think it's long sword. Yeah, GM. Yeah, it's a long sword. It's a long sword. <coughs> it's, a long sword. <coughs> it's an elven katana. Just put in long sword and then whatever modify that modify that it has, we'll put it. Uh, we'll count it later. <sighs> hmm. Hello. 
picture. I think he's dragging in the sword, probably. Long sword. Yeah, long yeah. sword. Yeah, roll, roll, roll your attack of opportunity. Oh, long bow. Hey. Yeah, that's a long bow. <laughs> he uses his long bow to swing like a sword. Wishing. Shooting, shooting, shooting. That's funny. Yeah, uh, yeah. I can just roll one d eight. Don't worry. Just roll one d eight. Yeah, I think just roll one. Roll one. Okay. Yeah. Just roll one d eight. <clears throat> One, no, no. You need to roll the what kind of attack table? D twenty yeah. first. Yeah, need to roll D twenty first to attack to hit. Six plus. Oh, that was any, close. Any other bonuses? Modifier? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Add, add add your proficiency bonus long sword. Should be a. Oh, I guess. You can add, you can add decks of strength. <gasps> and then add your proficiency. It should be two, I think. So it should be... Negative two. No. Yeah, no, no, you can use decks as well. You can use your decks instead. It's a versatile weapon. Really? Yeah. Huh. Just plus one. Okay, if you are using, uh, I, I'm assuming you are using a uh, one-handed, so you can use the dexterity one. So, yeah. seven. No, oh, lucky it's not one. <laughs> seven. So does it hit? It doesn't. That <clears throat> thing is very fast and it's small and it's like a fly. It's just bzz, 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 buzzing here and there, Oof, even is... in its poor state of condition. What is this thing's AC? It is. <laughs> Mm. Mm. <coughs> Alright. Mm. Alright. It... So, what do you want to do? Your action. Now it's your proper turn. I can't Guiding bolt. Cool. There's something wrong. I don't see it. And it's not everything. Oh no. Hmm. Then Jen, you can switch to Chrome. You can switch to Chrome. <laughs> don't switch to Internet Explorer. Yeah. Don't, don't use Edge. <laughs> like like Norman did. Hey, it worked. It worked. For certain things. I hear something being rolled, but it doesn't have much coming out. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Huh? Just me. Okay. Yeah. Well, you, you, you are still that? asleep. <laughs> but the the ruckus is if you have to go higher. No. You are. Uh, you are a very heavy sleeper. <laughs> Fifteen doesn't wake me up really now. Yeah. <laughs> ah, there okay, we go. Tidy ball. Ah, okay. Makes me spell. Okay, a tidy bolt. Raise spell on a hit. All right. Guiding DC DC zero spell save, so it doesn't get the spell save at all. Uh, no, he, no, it's, it's a it's an attack. It's, okay. So that save is fourteen. Make a range attack. No, it's not coming. Out. Sorry, uh, it says make a range spell attack against the target. So you need to roll a d twenty to hit. D twenty plus. Mm-hmm. Ten. That's a hit. That's a hit. <laughs> the guiding bolt is not 
Yeah, the guiding bolt is not a smart guided missile. <laughs> it, it went far. <coughs> but then again, the the thing is like like I said, it's a fly. It's buzzing left, right, and it's very small. It managed to evade that guiding bolt, <coughs> and it hits the the, the 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 door. And the door now is glowing. Wow. Mm. Well, it's a misguiding bolt. <laughs> <laughs> misguided bolt misguiding bolt misguided bolt <laughs> okay alright Chen anything else? in this small space uh, it's quite a limited uh, room for maneuvering chilling with so myself okay sure 6 you regain 6 okay seeing that misguided bolt missed the target <laughs> You quickly try to heal yourself, just in case. <laughs> you were expecting something bad, it's gonna happen. Alright, you regain six hit points. Carl, it's your turn. Alright, let's do this. And the thing is really in front of you. Take, take, take this. Frostbite. All right. Frostbite. Take constitution saving throw. Saving saving throw of 13, right? No, 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 15, 15. It's, 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 it's not this one. It's 15. 15? Yeah. 15? Yeah. I don't know why it's written as 13. Because 13 is... Doesn't make sense. Yeah. Is yeah. it 13? 15 or 13? Should be 15. Because this, my, all my spells are based on charisma, right? What the heck? <laughs> Holy crap! Oh. <laughs> it seems like it, it, it flitters left, right, up, down. Almost all of your spells <laughs> are missing it left and right. Okay, uh, now, Leona, can you, can you roll a perception check? Okay, give me a second. And also, Kenneth, can you roll also a perception check? What the hell? 20. <laughs> By this time, all the humdinger and all the, the noises, the lights, and also the sure. the cold snap <laughs> suddenly inside the room from the the frostbite. Okay. Kenneth, can you roll a perception? Leona, you managed to wake up. Like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> all groggy. Yeah. Uh, you're, Mascara <laughs> smearing in one face. <laughs> Kenneth, you. I'm so sleep. <laughs> you just. Uh, and. You just. Uh, you just turned the other <laughs> side. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, uh, Leona, can you roll, roll initiative? initiative. Alright, give a second. Uh, click on icon, roll initiative on character sheet, and 12. Alright. <coughs> oh. Wait, uh, I need to check. How come? Something is wrong. Spell safety C0. Kind of something wrong with this thing. So, Carl, anything else? Nah, that's it. That's it. Just, okay. just, checking, just checking the D20. It's, okay, it's not yeah. working. It's not working mm. for some reason. Alright. Anyway, now it's the Tooth Fairy's turn. Okay. The Tooth Fairy will just... Swing. Whatever it has in hand. At you. Liars. Oh? Six. Me? Miss. Uh, yes. Well, good luck. It misses. <laughs> it misses. <laughs> it tried to swing its flyer <laughs> at you. <laughs> and it misses. How dare Mi you. <laughs> And it will just float there in front of you, bearing its teeth. It's but it, you, what you see is like it's it's as if like it's admiring, admiring your teeth. Oh God, no! All right, Chen, mm. you're dead.
Ooh, pawn whip. Pawn whip. Seventeen. All right. The pawn whip. <laughs> Well, luckily it did not <coughs> roll a one. Otherwise, it will just like the what happened last week. Oh no! <laughs> okay, luckily it okay. You just whip it up with the thorn that you conjured up in your hand. It hits it, hmm. and it dies. And as it dies, the tooth fairy exploded into a cloud of sparkling white powder. Okay. Goes within all the five feet. Okay, roll a DC twelve, deck saving throw. Uh, both of you, Chen and Old Carl. <laughs> Seven. Okay, Chen. Twelve max. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Since you are the one who did the the killing blow, <coughs> you when you saw it and you. It's, you saw it explode, and you just simply jump out of the way out of pure reaction, and manage to evade the dust. A plaque. It's not a plague. It's a plaque dust. Oh no! And the dust settles squarely on Carl. <sighs> oh no! Think of the ginger fighters. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! All right. Carl now is. Why is it? Oh. <laughs> Until you take it. Until uh, you manage to wash it. I, I continue I, back I, sleeping. I'm gonna go for a shower. Can Do you tell anyone? <laughs> Do you tell anyone that you go for a shower before leaving your post? No, uh, tell, tell Chen Chen. Chen Chen, I need to go take a shower. So, how many hours was that into the watch? Well, it's still a, uh, it's still That's quite, quite early. early. That, it's not that. even the, it, it's within the first hour. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when Carl was just uh trying to <gasps> summon, that thing happened. Oh God. Yeah. So, it's, so it's barely, barely. Well, good thing you, you guys haven't slept yet. So, it's just... yeah, that means like we. <laughs> Ah, okay, go ahead, go ahead, shower, shower, shower. Let's go take a shower. I was like, yeah, Chen Chen, take it, uh, you know, take wash first. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a shower. Ah, uh, that means I need, I cannot summon this fuck. God damn it. I will say stuff later. <laughs> Anyway, so that happened. Yep, and that happened. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> it was quite har a harrowing experience. I uh, I'm thinking to myself, is this all a dream? <laughs> Feels like a dream. Yeah, for, for you, you notice people slinging spells. The uh, uh, something is supposed to be frostbiting. Is frostbite? Frost. Uh, you see a frostbitten ceiling. And you see a glowing door with radiant damage on it. Okay. Okay. So, um, what else do you do? I'm on watch, right? Now? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Okay. Now it's about 3.30 It's a short battle But it was quite a memorable battle It was unexpected <laughs> Okay, anything? Just waiting for Carl to finish so I can get some rest Yeah, then, then go and show up Shower this, this thing. Uh, he showers in the cool of winter. <laughs> Alright, uh, so 
it take cool, one cool damage. Cool. <laughs> cool damage. I'm saying go. This is where the spell pre there something something <laughs> doesn't doesn't apply. <laughs> Carl thinks of his life choices and what has really Mrs. Summer been uh, doing or what has she not been doing. Uh, oh no, Mrs. Summer. <laughs> have you forsaken me? So, uh, long rest, right? So, 8 hours. Mm-hmm. And then after that, you, you you will take turns. So, you will sleep for 8 hours. All of you. Alright. Okay. And after the excitement for the night, and then taking a uh, careful shifts to ensure that nothing really happens. So, Carl, uh, after one hour, do you want to try recast a spell? Mm, no, 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 no. It's obvious that something's trying to hijack, hijack portals. So it's not a good, it's not a good idea. Something even worse might come up. That's just something. Okay. So, um, <laughs> you really take. Uh, turns uh, with Leona uh, in order to sort of um, recover your spells, have enough healing time and also recovering time and daylight uh, breaks um, unfortunately even after 8 hours the sun is a bit cold today it's like th- there's a shade going around the mists are still around the area <laughs> okay you managed to complete your long rest you recover all your hit points and all your spells back mm. Mm. Uh, man i just had to Weird the stream. Chen Chen was there, Carl was there, and you guys were doing strange things. That, trust me, is not a dream. It really happened. So wait. <laughs> Different context. <laughs> People overhearing it, okay. Chen Chen and Carl was doing something, and it's not a dream. <laughs> I, <I'm... coughs> and this so, is being recorded. Indeed. Uh, so... <laughs> and it's not. A, and it, uh, Chen Chen admitted it's it's not a dream. So <laughs> okay, real. okay, okay. I, I'm just gonna. That was sure. lonely at that time. <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure if what you're. <laughs> what you're implying you two were fighting some kind of flying thing that's real no we are just wrestling each other at the time i'm going to dagger for in i'll catch you guys later bye <laughs> i do that i head out <laughs> you head out from where you were and you took the the road to the for in. All right. So, Leona, as you go out and leave the rest of the party inside the dorm, you notice the the fog is does not reach the drill field yet, or just uh, not really thick enough at the drill field. Mm. You are heading there, and it took you about 45 minutes to 15 minutes going to the drill field. Uh, it is gloomy. Uh, the blockades oh no. and also the barriers by the guards are still there, and more guards seems to be manning the, the, the posts towards the poor quarters. Hmm. So, uh, after about 40 minutes, so not, you are not taking any stop? Mm, no, I, um, I, I'll just head straight to Daggerford Inn. Would okay. love to see Lenniver, but I'll put that under hold for a bit. 
Okay. You will be spending about 45 to about 50 minutes walking to Daggerford Inn. And the rest of the team are inside the the dorm. Mm. There is Kenis, uh, Chen, and there's also Carl. I asked Chen. Uh, Chen. Yep. Yeah, do you want to do anything today? <laughs> some coffee downstairs. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do anything? Oh my. <laughs> Somebody said yeah. for seconds or what? <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I want to try, I, I want to try and cast, cast my, uh, I'll try to, try and summon my pixie again, at a safe, at a safe place. Uh, would you like to accompany me? Yeah, why not? Maybe you can have Kenneth around to help us. Yeah, Maybe Ken- first we should get some coffee first. Yeah, Kenneth want to join us? Type in the chat. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I think he will type sure. in the chat. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Sure. Uh, this is the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so we will go. We'll we'll head out and try to find a place that's uh far from the fog. Uh, so Do you I feel? Do you feel? I think it's best. The best. <laughs> Walk around. Uh, Walk around. Suddenly, Lenevia says, "What the hell are you guys doing?" <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I hear BGM. <laughs> <laughs> There's a VGM. Oh, oh no. Alrighty then. Something happening? No, no. I just want to check how's, how's this morning air is going to be. It's cool. It's cool. It may, yeah, it's cool. Maybe it's a date of winter, and then maybe the humidity is quite. From you are quite close to the river. But for sure, you notice Kenneth is walking with a confident gait of a bounty hunter, as if there is a soundtrack <laughs> that accompanies wherever he goes. Oh man! Yeah, but to this. Mm. All right. You can almost hear something like, like this, (laughs) in the background. Okay, okay. The three of you. What are you going to do? Uh, Uh, you are. This is about five to ten minutes after Leona left. Yeah, we 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 head out and try trying to find a place. uh. I can do my summoning. Okay. Get blessed so. to support you. <laughs> so where are you going? <laughs> about that? Uh, we'll just go out and then try to look. Um, th- there's another tavern table- here, right? No mistaken. The Dagger Fort Inn, is it? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll go to, to the Dagger Fort Inn. Inn? We'll go to the Dagger Fort Inn. Uh, and maybe we book. Then we go and check. Uh, book a room. Uh. Okay, so... That sound... <laughs> um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, suddenly the... I think maybe it's the effect of the fog. <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. The fog is quite thick around the poor quarters. Um you can almost you can barely see people walking in front of you. And since about five to ten minutes has lapsed before when when Leona left, you did not notice Leona that has been walking <clears throat> about ten minutes ahead. Okay, let's go to Leona. So by the time you arrive at Daggerford Inn, it's about noon. Noon? Mm. What time did I yes. wake up? Eleven. Oh wow. Okay. Eight hours of long rest. Oh wow, okay. Mm. As I head in, I take a look see at the scenery. Uh, how is everything? Busy? Just starting? Uh, 
<coughs> it was cool and you notice the the it's like the, the foggy or the mist is still there it is there at the same time it, uh, even though it's not as thick as the location at the poor quarters but Maybe it's because of the the thick smog, and you know that from the chimneys, it is a combination of smog and fog and mist. All right, and uh, it's cool. Even though even at noon, it's quite cool. It's very cool. Do yeah. I notice any uh, criminals? <laughs> Roll perception. Okay. All right. Give me a second. It, it depends on the <laughs> your definition of criminal, but. We'll see how things go. Perception. 21. Okay. <clears throat> if you, as you enter the inn, you look as if you are looking for criminals. <laughs> I am the knight. I am vengeance. Something like, like that uh, appears, sounded like that in your head. <laughs> I am Moon Knight. <laughs> 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 that will require to you to black out. <laughs> um, what you notice inside the tavern is is the usual usual crowd, uh, lots of busy people, but most of them are having lunch. Uh, some ha- are having hot porridge, yeah, and, some, yeah. uh, and having that. And yeah. Lionel is there. Oh. Like, Hello, hello, Lionel. Fancy. Fancy having you here. Yeah. Where uh, were you? Where you? Where were you yeah. for this this past days? I haven't seen you around. Oh well, well, yesterday. Oh man, like <laughs> I tell you that yesterday was a banger. Had a job, meet some unsavory people, and we put them in their place. Oh. Yep. Sounds exciting. Uh, anything you would like to share? Hey. Okay. Uh, uh, you will, without you, all of you guys around, things were just the, the normal group. Does but the... one thing... Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah one thing, the, I think the, the Happy Meal is really, really popular. Um, I, I may need to, to set up um, a tent oh. to prepare them for the caravan grounds. You uh-huh. know, all this ref- refugees business. I see. I might... If if you need help, I might help with that. Oh well, um, I just have one of my cook or under cook to I'm not under cook. It's just an apprenticeship cook to set up a tent and have some other people help out. You know, well, I mean, all these refugees. True, but I mean, if you need some delivery, like we we can start up another service. We can call it. Um, uh, I'll bear express. Uh, that's, that's not catchy enough. Like, it, it should be a bear, you know what I mean? Like some kind of large mammal. Owl bear? No, no, no. Panda? Panda eatery? You think that uh... works? What's a panda? Black and white bear, from what I know of. Have I seen one in person? Uh, most bears are just grey or brown. I know. And what are you talking about? I, I travel a lot, so I hear a lot of things. Ooh. Some people say they're cute. Man, ba- bear still a bear. Well... Uh, you have to bear with my lack of knowledge on this thing, Master. Well, we don't have that many travelers from as well as travel as you, but maybe you can you can tell me more about it sometime. Sometimes. Sometimes. But anywho, be... um with D twenty one, does it carry over? Any perception that I have? Okay. One um it's quite busy. Um, you notice uh, the throng of people, uh, but then again, most of them seems to be a bit more subdued. Mm. It's like they are not merry or mm. 
not really we in a good mood or a jovial mood. So if I want to relay any anything to Lionel, it's okay, or do I need to do another perception check for that one? Yeah, it, it, I think it should be okay. So uh, far, they are minding their own business, uh, as if they are thinking, or uh, they were a bit more depressed. Oh, I see. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> anyhow, um, I I I lean in to close to Lionel and tell him, you know, yesterday we fought a guy named Geoffrey. Have you heard that name before? Yesterday, you say? Yeah. Let me let me recall. Well, I know yesterday. All my troubles seem so far away. <clears throat> it seems like he is trying to remember a song or something like that. <laughs> well, I believe in yesterday. No, I don't. I, well, I know the the name Joffrey has been mentioned a lot lately. You know about the acolytes that that have that, and some of them do mention this Joffrey character. Wait. Hmm. Can you describe more about this Joffrey? So from his it's, yeah, it's it's that there is a familiar ring to that name. So from what I remember is that he wears white and some kind of mask. Uh, I I think he has blonde hair, and he seems to be a cleric of some type, part of the Ooh. order. You see, cleric. You see now. Uh, now that rings a bell. Let's mm. see. Hmm. Let's see. Ah, uh, my old age. Sometimes this kind of memory is a bit fuzzy. Uh, well, that. Well, you know there are clerics. Yeah, 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 yeah. It seems to be coming back to me. Give me a bit of time while I try to recall. If there's anyone by the name of Joffrey that has at least come once into this inn, would you give me the time sure. to uh, recollect? If uh, while you do that, I think I'll entertain the uh, patrons of the tavern. I mean, uh, it looks like they could use some entertainment. Okay, sure. Well, you know, old age, well, going okay. fifty plus, <laughs> it's all and good. dealing with people for time. Yeah, yeah. Well, just give me some time. All right, and with that, right. I hit up stage and pull out my lute and try to play a jaunty tune. All right, roll performance. <coughs> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> you. You started uh, humming a tune based on what Geoffrey. Uh, well, what. Lionel has mentioned to you mm. yesterday. All my troubles seem so far. Oh, away. I was thinking about something else. Um, the li- the <laughs> okay, lyric goes something fine. like, um, "We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, okay. and so do I. A full commitment's okay. what I'm thinking of. You would, uh, you wouldn't get this from any other guy. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Got to make you understand." By this time, you got no idea what this song. I got no idea what to say. Okay, uh, about ten minutes later, the rest of the party came into the the tavern. Okay, then there's Kenis, there's Carl, and also Chen Chen. Bursting into the the, the tavern through the front door, boom! Yeah, and then it goes. <laughs> never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Gonna, never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Okay. <laughs> never gonna tell. Like, uh, you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, and 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 Kenneth is there. <laughs> you you hear the the song that's being played. Ah, Diona, I see you're here as well. I don't hear you. I'm on stage performing. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, okay. Innkeeper, I need. Uh, we we need a room for three. Ooh, a room you see? Well, I have only one room to spare tonight. 
he's okay. No, they'll, they'll, they'll do. They'll do. He, he's a bit back though. Sorry about that. Last time, well, as you can see, there are more patrons that suddenly appeared. Business is good, and so far the meal, the the happy meal, is one of the things that that is been in demand and popular <laughs> around here now. Okay, well, well, I guess we'll take it. One room, is it okay? Yep, it's a bit back. For three. Oh. Ooh. And he looks at Chen. And seems to think of something. Oh, Chen, what do you do? <laughs> the Kimi Wong. Yes. And then he he looks at Leona, trying to <clears throat> wave at Leona, and and seems to motion. <clears throat> come here, come here. Thank you, y'all. I hope you enjoy the show, and hope that brightens up your day. <laughs> and I go off stage. Yeah, what up? I just remembered. Joffrey mm -hmm. used to be a quite well mentioned. Uh, Several months ago, I think he is one of the healers for, that was assigned to the court. Oh, to the duke. Really now? Yes, that's why I. I it's been a while since people mentioned him or I've seen him. He's quite a young. Well, he's he 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 looks young, but he seems to be well, well thought out. Have Have you heard any rumors about him? Dabbling in dark arts and so on. Oh no, he's he's a a very upright man, very religious, religious, and he's very good in the arts of healing. And he's working for the Church of Latenda. Well, usually that's where they came, but this is specifically he he came and he. He is assigned to to take care of the duke. From those days, I see. That's yeah. Well, that's what people see around here. The duke was was a bit under the weather at first, but people don't see it. He used to be a very public persona. Cool. But since, the duke. Since, yeah, but then again, word started to to go around that he is. Not that well, We've and that his health a bit deteriorating. Oh, that's what we heard when his public appearances are getting less and less frequent. Yeah, that's what we heard too. Thanks for the info, Lionel. You know? Um, it, it it helps a lot. It helps a lot. Anyway, um, I slip in oh, one gold. Joffrey. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. Yeah, that's that's the name. Yeah, that's the name, Joffrey. I slip one gold to a line of for the tip. Oh, ah! Thanks for help, man. Thank you for your kindness. Really appreciate your help oh, and, and your contribution. No problem. I'll be visiting here more often. But before I go, I may need to have one of those happy meals to go. Oh. Okay. Ah, uh, free of charge. Take, thank you take it much. as as uh, items paid. Uh, thank you very much. All right, guys, let's let's head out for a bit. And I'm going out to go see uh, Commander Lenevere. If anybody wants to follow, follow through. <laughs> you guys were just had just arrived when and when Lionel told about all this. So, are you guys going together? Uh, I will try and summon the pixie. I'll meet you later on, I guess. Maybe Chinese can follow me. Uh, Leona, follow me. <laughs> I think me and Carl need some together time. <laughs> mm, <laughs> I, I see the bromance happening. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm out. I'm already out. Okay. Um, are you going to try to cast inside the inn? Uh, in the, in the room, yes. Uh, we'll, I'll try to cast it in the room. In Sleep the... line, uh, uh, one go for the room. 
Okay, and then you went into the room and yeah, it, it is a small room. It's quite packed. So four can, can fit in, but then again, somebody has to sleep on the ground. Uh, Chen Chen can sleep outside. He's an elf. Okay. And, okay. Carl, are you trying to attempt to cast the pixie again? Yeah, I'm trying to call call the pixie in. Okay. Let's see. Come, let's do it. Yes. Bless. Yeah, bless. Don't forget <laughs> guidance. <laughs> guidance works too. <laughs> bless. Okay. I think it might be guidance instead, right? But let's bless is for attack rolls. Yeah, I, I think it's guidance. Guidance move. Is it guidance? Yeah. This one? Uh, touch feeling. Da, da, da. Uh, yep, yep. Once before the spell ends, uh, the target can roll a d4 to add uh, the number of rolls to one ability check of its choice. It can roll the die before or after making the ability check. Uh, technically, it's a bardic inspiration. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's go. That's I'll try to cast. Uh, I'm not sure. Is it good? High is good. Low is good. Add, add yeah. in, add in your, add in your D four. Make it higher. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this time around, the uh, is it is something and it, okay. Can you roll a perception, Carl? Okay. Let's and Arcana. No, no, sorry, Arcana. Okay. Ooh, nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, why are you throwing? Okay, D twenty. All right. Okay. Yeah. Roll, roll Arcana. And uh, Arcana now. Perception mm-hmm. and Arcana. Okay. Yep. okay now, Arcana should also be a D twenty. Oh, it's not intelligent. <laughs> you did mention it's that. Not... Nope, he's perceptive, but he's not intelligent. <laughs> okay. Same thing that you notice when you try to to summon that. Uh, the oh. portal starts to open a bit, and then it is again like something's trying to shut it. Oh, but now it seems like. The color that comes from the other side of the portal has changed. Oh. It is a bit darker. Mm. Okay. And you can hear funny noises. Like chittering noises. From the other side of the portal. Uh, that's not good. Mm. Close it, close it, close it, it. It gets it louder. Mm. But this time around, the portal seems to be expanding. Uh oh! I try to control, gain control of the portal. I try, try, try to kick, kick out this unwanted disturbance. Can you roll a d twenty? Let's do it. <laughs> Mizu sama. No. <laughs> yep, Mizu sama. This, this is all part of Mizu sama's plan. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Start my D twenty roll. <laughs> oh god, damn it! All right, what happens now? <laughs> and you you notice that the portal inside the room seems to expand, and it's getting bigger, and bigger. Ooh, okay, let's turn off the spell. Can I can I uncast it? Stop casting it. Okay. Try to break off the connection. Is it the usual spell? No. That is not a concentration spell, right? No, no, it's, it's a ritual. Okay, it is a so ritual. It's just a... Uh, I'll, I'll just try to destroy the, disrupt the ritual. And like... As you disrupt the ritual, the portal shrunk all of a sudden, as if it is being cut off, being fed from your arcane energy. Ah, and just, just in time, before you see lot faces lots and lots of faces from the thing that fought 
you fought last night. Mm. There's more than one that seems to trying to to approach that portal, trying to go out of that portal before you ah. manage to close it just in time. Shoot. I tell Chen Chen. Chen Chen, some, this is bad. Something, something very powerful is trying to, you know, try to block my summoning. It seems to be linked to the undead that we faced last night. In the whole town. Hmm. I think I think I can't summon my pixie until we when we can uh, <clears throat> disrupt the source. It's uh, very risky. It's too hard for me to form a connection with Mizu Summer. And can you roll Maybe an arcana? Can you roll an arcana, Chen? Arcana, Chen arcana. <clears throat> Yeah, damn it, roll. How can I roll? Why not? Okay. Clean. <laughs> nice. Oh, goddamn. Okay. Chen, Chen. Your, your, your attunement to nature um, seems to help you in this case. You you seem like what you, you senses are not really undead stuff, but it seems like a dark fae. It doesn't seem undead to you. The dark dimension. Oh no. Dormammu. Dormammu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You you will know if it's an undead, but it doesn't seem undead. Dormammu, I come to bark. <laughs> uh Akosama. Mizu, Mizu. It's Mizu Sama. That's what you say every time, but that's why she's angry. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do? It's uh, inside the room and you notice some at certain places and at the bed post where the portal open and try to be to remain open on its own, there is like a it's being cut. <laughs> It seems to be sliced by the portal. Mm, well, that, that's... Mm, hey, do, do, do you have mending? Chin Chin? I do have, but I don't think I'm prepared for the day. The mending is a cantrip, yeah. so, so it should be fine. No, but I do not prepare. He, well, he's, he's not in his spell list. Yes, uh, he, uh, yeah. Yeah, you, 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 sometimes you, you you think that people have access like sorcerers, but uh, not it's all. It's okay. Oh, uh, Chen Chen, you can you, maybe not later tonight. We just need to cast mending on it, then it's fine. Just need to prepare mending. That's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this adventure just got weird. Oh, really weird. <laughs> I'm writing this. <laughs> that. <laughs> Okay, as you as that transpired, it took about five minutes plus. Um, Leona was on her way to the drill field. Mm-hmm. All right, and later you are not privy to all this uh, shenanigans that's happening, and you are now at the drill field. Mm. Uh, who do I see there? Is the interview outside or inside? Well, there there are more people uh, outside. You know, you see the both drill sergeants from the night shift and the day shift now are all during the day shift, try to train new conscripts. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You don't see Lenever outside. I go up to one of the um, person in charge and uh, and I greet them. Hello, uh, is Lenever around or oh, Commander Lenever? The person was was screaming bloody murder at the new recruits. Uh, that's um, really really mulling <laughs> mulling things up. <laughs> that is uh, not doing well, holding their weapons correctly. And as you say to that to the, to master sergeant, 
He just turns to you and says, That's Master Chief to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Um, Commander Lenevere, is he around? I need to talk to him. Can't you see I'm busy? You cannot break my cursing <laughs> tempo. I lose it. All right, go all inside right. the go inside the office. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I go inside the office. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. What's, he, what spell do I cast? Then he just turns to that. So you think that is a respite to you? Do give me twenty push-ups. Only twenty. In full Wait. armor. In full armor. Okay, so he he just turns and, and concentrated all his effort and anger and and, and curses at the troops. <laughs> so Leona, you are going into the uh into the barracks, yes. Okay, the office. Mm-hmm, as office. soon as you open the front door, you see Lenovo just standing near the where the desk sergeant is, uh, the table. The desk of that desk sergeant. Mm-hmm. Okay, he was looking at certain lists in his hand. It may be like a conscription notices. Mm-hmm. And... Saw you. Let's see. Oh. You. Good day. What do you... Good day. Well, it's not so good. Yeah, for some habit. But I have some news that we might... Mm, I have some news that I want to share, but we might want to speak in private for this. Well, I think you can just speak here. As you can see, all of the troops are at the drill field. Mm. They have to be whipped into shape. I guess they have to be whipped. Whip it good. Do, 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 do. <laughs> but anywho, yes. So, yesterday we fought with... Sorry. Yesterday we were ambushed by... Well, the Acolytes. And we... Do you, do you manage to find the, the Firebrand? Firebrand. The, the instigators, this... Joffrey that one of your companions says? We did, and I managed to see him uh, under the mask. And after talking to someone, it seems that he was part of the court. The uh, Baron's court. As his... can, you roll a per- can, can you roll a perception? Give me a second. Perception. Let's not go. Oof. No. <laughs> okay. So, I... Uh, continue, continue. So, uh, they say that he was part of the court as his healer or something like that. And he was well-renowned. And so on. So, it seems that Whoever this Joffrey guy is, he's been part of the court for a while now, and it seems that he was there for the Baron's <coughs> um, uh, taking care of the Baron. So yeah, that's what we heard. But uh, once when we fought him yesterday, he looked really bad, and I am going to cast Silent Image. <laughs> to show how um, this Joffrey looks. <laughs> uh, Mr. Spell Slot. Alright. You show this to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you roll uh, session again? Alright, give me a second. Uh, better than seven. <laughs> Not my day. You you just notice uh, a shift in the minor of Commander Lanever. Seems like he is a bit silent. As you as if paying close attention to all your words, word by word. 
and looking at the image that you cast. So that's what we faced yesterday and on top of that, it seems the mist that's going around seems to bring the undead back to life. Or the dead turn undead. At that point, uh, when you mention that, seems to be as if the commander seems to show his age by now. <sighs> that is similar to all the reports that that people have been all of my subordinates have been saying that's not great that's not great at all by the way there's a statue in the poor quarters do you, do you know anything about that statue yeah um i i think from what the guys mentioned that uh felix and his group um, fought some kind of monster over there in that area and there's kind of a statue in there are several statues at the poor quarters which one are you referring to uh, the recent uh, action sorry the recent thing that we fought i i, I bet uh, sorry i guess there's a report from your men about yesterday's uh happening I lost two of my men yesterday. And in that area? Yes. Yeah. So and like they, they were saying that it, 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 there's a lot of, lots of friendly fire. It, it, it was a... From my experience there, it was really hazy. And it was really hard to see. But there was a statue over there. Do you know anything about the statue? There is one statue at River Road. Near the, at the, the, near the River Road. Yes, that, that statue seems to be of importance. Do you know anything about it? That statue has been there ever since the time immemorial. We used to play around that statue when we were kids. And you know who, how old I am? This is before my time, adventuring time when I left the, the city. I came from the poor quarters once. What was known as the poor quarters now. It used to be good times. The statues out there. It used to have a fountain there too. Mm. I'll, I'll just go. I'll just say it. Um, I'll just say it then. Um, the, sto- the statue seems to be stopping whatever evil there is over there. or In this fog or haze or whatever it is. It seems to not like that statue so i just want to know its history for a bit because if it can help us deal with whatever this is like we need all the help that we can get <laughs> that would be zelron's territory he is the one who likes to know about the history of this town sometimes wait 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 is that why all of my men are piling up the dead bodies at the statue? Well, we, we did tell them to pull it closer to... Well, if they needed protection, go closer to the statue. But I didn't thought they would pull the bodies to the statue. <laughs> uh, but it does make sense that to prevent any more undead. Hmm. You do know... <coughs> well... seems like the bodies at the river road does not seem to re- reanimate over time but we do have problems with the dead walking in Koth Alley it's a scene of carnage that is last time. true <laughs> yes I, I just remember that but anywho for, for now those those are the, all the infos that we have on this Joffrey person that we faced yesterday and oh by the way forget to mention uh he escaped through one of the wells in the river roads so well 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 he jumped into the well yes <laughs> yes he did 
And from what Shadow told us, I, uh, the well you, you, was. You, you were saying that you did not manage to apprehend him. No, uh, he was we, him? I did saw his face, but I didn't get a chance to um, apprehend him. So, yeah, kind of my bad on that one. Is he the cause of this mist? Not hundred percent sure. Like everything that's going on right now seems to be related to whatever Felix was investigating. He told me about um, Liam's hole and how that was. And from what I can tell, it's similar to what's going on here. It seems to be. So you are saying Joffrey is the cause of this be part of it and this mist lingers it doesn't go away and it seems to move unnaturally that is that is true but as for now those those are the only infos that we have um, I'm not sure how to go forward do you have any suggestions yes and at this time <clears throat> The the rest of the party came through the door. <clears throat> All right. Oh. Oh. I guess Leona has already brief comment about it. Yep, a bit, a bit on yesterday's event. Yeah. Then the, then I never address the whole, the entire group. Are you guys not together? Because <clears throat> I keep seeing one person is going here and the other rest are going somewhere else are you guys not together multitasking well uh, leona said she wanted to head yeah, not together <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that guy at the back that doesn't seem to say anything he seems to be typing <laughs> it's a mandalorian don't talk <laughs> Okay, so it's best for you guys to, for all of you to be here to hear this. Um, we have had a council meeting yesterday that mm-hmm. goes all the way through the night. Mm-hmm. It's, it seems like um, I may be proven wrong. Oh, on what account? A bit. Well, the marshal was not called by the high priest. Oh? The duchess herself called the marshal. Oh. oh, that's that's a bit concerning. But hmm. But why? That is a council matter. I cannot state the reason why. Well, the situation is dire right now, Ladiva. I think you well, we can share with us. We can trust us. Well, like I said, it is a council matter. It seems like even the threat seems to be more than than any of us can manage so we are asking all our friends allies and connections to assist hmm i hmm. you know what if i were in the duchess shoes i would probably do the same but man going behind your back that's cold blooded well, I th- I believe as the the leader for this town, she has to make the tough calls. Well, she did she did say that it it, it is not easy for her to make this call. After what she has gone through, that is true. How is her health, by the way? Recovering. That is good. And but she's weak. Mess. Weaker than before. And Master Boris is 
healing her or taking care of her health? It's hard to say because she has had her own physicians. Uh, Boris comes from time to time. Well, I, we have had our differences, but both of us have to agree that this is uh, something that we have to put our ideologies aside. On a side note, does Boris approve of the appearance of the um, uh, the assistant that the Baroness called in? Okay, at, at that, suddenly he, he his face suddenly seems to be laughing. <laughs> uh, it seems like Boris is also out of the loop. He is not happy with the, the marshal suddenly appearing here. <laughs> hmm. So that can we can strike that theory out. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> uh, the marshal and I went long way back. <laughs> I know the marshal. He follows the rule of law to a T. <laughs> Usually, yes. He mm. boasts no ill will and he does not care about the politics. He just care about the law and also about the cause. I see. Alright, so... Man, now this is getting more confusing. Alright, no problem then. We'll, we'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. Uh, be besides the... Yeah, besides that. So anyway, uh, any anything you want to, us to do for today? Yes. You mentioned about this Joffrey. Um, Kenny's Chen and also Carl. Can you roll perception? Yeah, the other three people that doesn't have shit. <laughs> I was about to say shit perception, but huh. Chen Chen, nice. Okay, Chen and and Kenis. You Skull, only to go You 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 notice the uh, when the face of and the body language of Lenivel when he mentioned Joffrey is as if he seems to be. Hiding something. Is it his past level? <laughs> what is up with this game? So, I think we need to find this Joffrey and take him down or take him in again. Dead or alive? That is up to you. Alright. Well, preferably we can we can get any some answers from from him, but if he full, if he is to be very hard, and also the cause of this, maybe we need to use lethal force on him. We'll try to bring him in. If he resists, we will try hard. Yes. Also, we need more oil. Mm -hmm. There's an outbreak of these animated corpses from all the things from the poor quarters. I have sent my men to... I've sent for more men and trying to conscript more in order to bolster the defense of the poor quarters. There's no more rioters. But all the people inside are being attacked from time to time from this. And then... This, this has this decapitated head that seems to go up and then suddenly bite somebody in the leg. Mm. And then you, you, you have the, the, the bottom legs of a torso walking without the upper upper half. Oh, we, we, we need to burn all of them. So... About the oil, like, uh, Klex told me that you took all of his supply. 
Yes. Hmm. What of it? No, nah, it's just that uh, he has a lot and you're almost done with it? You know, there is a lot of bodies lying around. I do not know how enough men to, to get rid of the body and then the mist came and started to cause some of the the bodies to move and started attacking even my men that's dragging them down so we have to burn anything that moves there mm, all right totally understand and even the rats are being killed by the the the, the head and also the, the thing they just seems to bite anything that moves mm, i see do you have access to majors We are a bit short of them. Zelron is the one that that has that. This is this used to be a a, a quite a advanced city, and we, we we do not have that access. Usually, is several of them, but Zelron has has assigned most of the majors under his tutelage hmm. to so the farm states. Mm. Oh no! Yeah. Speaking of burning bodies, if you need help, I can help you with the burning of the bodies. Hmm. Well, that is one thing that, that we need to have that. But there is also the marshal has been tending and also looking out for the car- at the caravan grounds for at the refugees. He seems to be asking some questions about your friend, Felix. Hmm. What 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 questions are you asking? He seems to be looking for Felix. Some of the the people in town says that Felix is part of the Midnight Hunters. What? Well, like we reported before, he mm-hmm. ran away into the woods, away from uh, Daggerford. Yeah, we have no idea what happened to him after he ran away. But like I mentioned before, um, it seems that one of the criminals here, uh, a man with a missing ear, is well a werewolf, and from what I can tell, he hangs out in the Grantley house a lot. Let's see, I tried going what? in to look for more info on that, but. It's a dead end. Uh, the Grand Play House seems to not like me a lot. So yeah. <laughs> I wonder why. Oh shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, that that's uh, that's Felix Dad's end there with the Grand Play House. Without any proper investigation or anything like that, I can't get any more info on him. And yeah, alright. You know what? Right, I think right now we're 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 stumped. Like we got no idea. So, point us into a direction, and we'll just swing our swords there. Good. Now there are several options for you. One, one you can assist in the burning of the the bodies and reading the poor quarters because that is urgent, and you have even the residents being attacked. They used to be. Attack, uh, used to be attacking my men now they are asking for help hmm. they were being attacked themselves they are still citizens of the city and we cannot just leave them be regardless of their writing mm, that's, that's true. the first one okay. second the marshal seems to be looking for you seems to Us? want to ask something mm, Okay. he didn't tell me what but he seems to be very interested to talk to the Midnight Hunters. Alright. Third. We need to resupply the oil for this town. And how is that going to work? Do we need to travel or...? Yeah. Apparently so. We need to open back the resupply line outside of the town. Mm-hmm. Alright. 
Well, we'll. I, I'll have a quick discussion with the group and see what we're gonna tackle. Uh, what 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 quest we're gonna take from you? Uh, it won't take long, but you'll have our answer in twenty minutes. Why? Oh. One mm -hmm. thing you have you have gained in prestige in the city. Oh, it seems like you have both destroyed and assisted us in many ways. <laughs> yeah. uh, yes. Well, anywho, um, well, we, we yes, try our best. My 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 men do talk about friendly fires. <coughs> it was mis really easy. Misfired weapons. Yes. Not mine. <laughs> yes, but but anywho, um, we'll come back. We'll come back. And with that, I um, usher everybody don't, out for a bit. Don't don't be too long. Mm, yes. We need uh, fast answers because yeah. your answer will determine how I will mobilize my resources. Mm. And with that, we head to the drill field to a secluded area where, uh, yeah, we'll we'll be here. We'll be here. Oh, okay. Alright, so guys, after all that, after all that, like, what the fuck? There's a lot. But anywho, um, what do we do? Hmm. I think, should we split the party? No, not Why this time. Not but this how time. We might yeah. Then, then if that's the case, then I think that we, the most obvious thing to do is now is to help them with the burning of the bodies because we don't want this town overrun by zombies. Mm -hmm. And okay. since they don't have oil, but, uh, but me, I but um, I I have uh, some fire magic, which could help with the burning. I mean, uh, I, honestly speaking, um, all we need is a campfire logs, woods, anything that can just keep fire persistent. Yeah, so yeah, so we just uh well we, we, I think we should uh I think we should assist with clearing the bodies first because uh, right. the fog is turning human un human bodies into undead. So I, if I we do agree deal with the body yeah. soon then it's gonna be a big issue. I do agree with that one. That that seems to be the best case scenario okay now what about the marshal wanting to meet you guys yeah maybe maybe you could you could meet the marshal first Leona I, I, I don't know about that like here's the thing if the marshal wants us to go anywhere that means we are away from uh, the court alley where Lenever wants us so either or right now we see we see the marshal and he gets what he wants and we can go back or he wants us to go somewhere far to finish one of his quests by the way did anything happen on the day that Felix left that I should know of. Mm, what did I'm aware of? Jen Jen, this was that something? She was not. Did I name it? No, I don't don't think so. Something about you guys not listening to him, something like that? Mm, I well, don't ask think many even hear what he's saying with all that armor <laughs> on. Like you guys were investigating in the sewers, right? That's what he said. We were. And you guys saw you you guys stumble upon a mausoleum. I'm I'm just saying that the marshal is hired by the Duchess. And if there were any events that happened in the mausoleum, 
and <laughs> knock on wood if he doesn't try to arrest you guys for trespassing I'm just saying I'm just saying Mausoleum? What's that? Never heard of it mm. What's that a mausoleum? We... we I, I remember that we fought a crocodile monster and that's how we got the sword so yeah that, that's that's all I remember yeah. but anyhow anyhow so the most important thing to this for us to do is to assist the animal with the bodies right okay so we tell the animal yeah we're gonna help him with the bodies instead? yeah that, that's the plan that's the plan oh maybe we can get some horses so we can just go through and fall without like having to hustle so a lot of time what uh, poor oil? Uh, I can create bonfire okay. and, have, and have sacred flame cantrips. So I could help burn with the burning of the bodies. Well, let's, let's, talk, let's talk to Lenover about this and see what he has to say. And with that, we head back in. <laughs> okay, and uh, Lenover is still pouring over the, all the notices on the death of the death sergeant. It seems to be like... Uh, Conscription notice. There's a lot of conscription notice, and then there's a map that seems to show uh, the Greater Daggerford area. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Do you have an answer now? Yep, we're gonna help you with the Quad Alley situation. Like, we think that takes priority over whatever the marshal wants from us or them. Yeah, and... we, we. Yeah, I think I think the urgent disposal of the bodies are more important, and I know some fire spells. I think Chen Chen knows some fire spells too. Okay, so is that your final answer? Yes. <laughs> oh no, I want to follow a friend! I want to follow a friend! Jawapan anda adalah salah. Emotional damage! I uh, said, say not ambil lima puluh, lima puluh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> okay. Is that your final answer? Yeah, we do, need, we do need all the help that we can get in order to rid of the bodies. Yeah, we don't want the town to be overrun by undead. Yep, so that's the plan. So, alright. We can probably meet with the marshal after we finish this. I mean... He's a patient guy, right? Well, he seems to be managing well for himself. Okay. I mean, this is the first news we heard of him wanting to meet the Midnight Hunters. So, yeah. <laughs> he can wait for a bit. It, news travels slow. <laughs> well, I, I think he, he was just assessing maybe the defenses of the town based on his observation mm. before. Observation as if I am not capable to do all this. <laughs> what, what does he know? But anywho, yes, uh, what do you need us to do? Well, you know the, the carnage that you caused at Cause Alley. <coughs> <coughs> what do you mean we caused? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Let's, let's not throw blame, but anywho. There are lots of uh, bodies that has not been cleared, and that is the one that 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 is most urgent. Mm hmm. All right. Yep. So, go through Quoth Alley, burn bodies, finish quests. All right. All right. You can call us the Undertaker. <laughs> Hunters, Undertakers, as long as the job gets done. All right. So, should we I... meet with anyone in Quaff Alley to, well, let them know that we're on the case? I... Yeah, I can have some of my men to, to assist you in that. Alright. They will, they will do the burn, they can do the burning. Alright. Um, on top but of we that... Need all, sorry, all hands on deck. Yeah. yeah. On top of that, what? we need a lot of firewood just to maintain the flames. Because magic fire doesn't last long. And firewood does the trick too. So yeah, if we can have a bonfire going, that means we can have consistent fire without oil. Yeah, coincidentally, my spell is also called... 
Great bonfire. <laughs> yeah, we just need to throw more wood. <laughs> okay. So, is that your final answer? Yes. Good. So, meet some of my men outside. Uh, I will give the, the the sergeant the orders to assist you there. So, you will go to the course early then first. Mm-hmm. The time now is, is about 2. We need to move fast before it's sundown. Mm, yes, we, we don't want to do this in the dark. That's not great. Yes, don't worry about it. You can rely on us. <laughs> Alright. Do this and then, then, then we'll explore more things on how we, we can get this town back under control. I hate to, deplore, to declare martial law at the poor quarters. They are poor people. Poor them. Now they have to go <laughs> to do to go under movement control order now. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. No, that's not great at all. Alright. Alright guys. Let's head out. Alright, that's good. Right. So yeah, you're going to all the poor court, uh, the the court alley, right? They head out first. I, I I want to have a private conversation with Lenover. Okay. So three of you are going out, and except for Leona, is it? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so the three of you went out. Leona is still there. Huh? you are not following them. I need to talk to you for a bit. It might help you in some things. 